Hello, I'm Millie Marshall-Lockhorn and I'm the Deputy Editor of International Security Journal. Welcome to this ISJ security video. Today I'm speaking with Gary Harmer, Commercial Director of Hickvision UK and Ireland. Thank you so much for joining me today, Gary. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. Thanks for having me. So today we'll be discussing how large-scale AI makes cameras smarter with more generalisation ability. So Gary, what challenges do traditional AI systems face when dealing with fragmented or changing environments? That's a really good question. So conventional AI cameras work on running a, in a controlled environment and they lose accuracy in complex or changing environments. And that's because they've been modelled, the traditional AI models have been made on supervised data. So we've actually said, here's some data and we've told the model what that data is. Yeah. Um, using large volumes of labelled data for specific scenarios. If the scene changes, then the performance is drastically reduced mm -hmm. because they lack a broader contextual understanding of that scene because it doesn't quite fit the data label that we've given it. And that's why they're less reliable than the later technology. Mm. So large visual models are different. Mm. They use unsupervised or self-supervised pre-training to learn from billions of images um, and video images to build up a general visual knowledge and an understanding of what they're looking at. And therefore, you're then able to fine tune that broader knowledge to specific applications. That gives them the ability to adapt when the scene changes or the environmental changes. They can get the contextual change in that scene change, if that makes sense, and still understand what, what is being seen. So how do large-scale vision models enhance the generalisation and the robustness of HIC vision cameras? So large vision models are different from conventional AI models. So the large visual models, because they're working on billions of images, they can transfer that knowledge, that spatial awareness and the identification of shapes and colours to a new scene. So if the, new, if, if the environment changes, they're able to adapt quickly and still perform and give you the results that you're looking for. So what benefits are users seeing from Deep in VueX and other large-scale AI-powered cameras in the field? So our Deep in VueX cameras, which are powered by the Guanlan large-scale AI model, are highly effective in detecting and analysing objects and events. Mm -hmm. The large AI models provide an accurate detection of things like hard hats, forklifts, uh, and events like smoking, for example, in prohibited areas, and can also identify vehicle features, um, not just detect the vehicle, but also detect the brand of the vehicle, the colour of the vehicle, detect the direction that the vehicle is travelling in, etc. The Deep in View X cameras are able to intelligently distinguish between real threats and harmless triggers in perimeter security scenarios such as shadows, reflections from water, small animals, um, objects that are being blown around by the wind. Um, therefore, it reduces the, un the amount of unnecessary alerts that would come through from a conventional AI system. So, with the technology being deployed on the edge, and by that we mean in the camera, so we've, we've captured the intelligence within the camera, what it actually means is the results do not rely on the network resilience or server-side processing. That gives us the ability to deliver a much faster response and greater resilience in terms of the operation of, of the system. So what key advantages does the performance include? So the main advantages are up to a 90% reduction in false alarms um, and a 50% reduction in repeat alarms. Um, coupled that with a longer detection range, so we can detect 
uh, up to 140 meters through an optical, not a thermal camera, longer with thermal, but on an optical lens up to 140 meters, which is a, another main advantage. And a capability to manage more challenging uh, environments, you know, such as small animals and, and foliage blowing in the wind, etc. And all of that, because you then are able to use less cameras, you've then got a lower cost system. Brilliant. Thank you so much, Gary. It's been great to speak to you. Thank you.